Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this roll-up banner in Coral Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our roll-up banner. We will select CMYK color mode. Now first we will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point. Then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we will select this rectangle and we will drag like this. Then we will right click to make a copy. Now fill color. And we will remove the outline. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will go to the effects menu and we will select creative then frame. Now we will select the frame. I will choose this frame. Now you can see the settings. Now click on OK. Now again we will select this rectangle and we will drag with the shift key. Then we will right click to make a copy. Now we will drag like this. Now we will fill color. We will remove the outline. Now again we will make one more copy. We will drag and right click. Now we will right click and we will select convert to curves. Then we will select the shape tool from the toolbar. Then we will double click on this line to add node. Now we will drag like this. Now we will fill color and we will remove the outline. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will drag like this and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will change the color. We will fill white color. Now we will select this rectangle and we will adjust the position. Now we will select these shapes and we will adjust. Now we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small circle. Now place here and we will fill color, we will remove the outline. Now we will go to the effects menu and we will select creative then frame. Now we will select the frame. Now we will select this frame. settings will be same now we'll click on ok now we'll select this rectangle and we will change the color now we'll remove the outline of the rectangle now we have all these details and image now we'll paste this First we will select the image and we will adjust the size according to the frame. Now we'll right click on this image. Now we'll select power clip inside. Now we'll click on this frame. Now we'll click on add it. Now we will adjust the image. Click on finish. Now we'll adjust the size of this shape. Now we'll select the rectangle tool and we will draw a small rectangle on the top. Now we'll fill white color.
Now we'll go to the effects menu and we will select 3D effects. Now we'll select page pro. Now you can see the settings. Then OK. Now we'll place the logo on this rectangle. We will increase the size. Place this text on this circle. Now we'll select with the rectangle and we'll press it to align center. Now again we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small circle. I'll fill white color and we will remove the outline now we will adjust the size now we will drag and right click to make a copy now we will press ctrl r to make one more copy now we place these icons on the circle now we will select the circle in the icon and we will press c and e to align center similarly we will set the align this text now we'll change the color now we'll select this text and circle and we will press C to align center one by one now we have this paragraph text now we'll place this we will set the align by pressing C. Now we will select this text and we will place here. Now we will change the color. Now we will place this contact details. We will select with the shape and we will press it to align center. Now we'll change the color. Now we'll select the icons and we will change the color. Now we'll change the color of this text. Now we'll select this text and we will change the color. Now we'll drag and right click to make one more copy. Now we'll change the color and we will place. Change the color of this text. Now we'll select the common shape from the toolbar and we will select the down arrow and we will make here. Now we'll fill white color and we will remove the outline. Now we'll select with the text and we will press C for line center. So guys, our roll-up banner design is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share and comment. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.